Hello, hello. My name's Jazz, and we are back again with some more Tacoma. So, last we left off with the story going on right now is they were celebrating the lovely Absolescence Day. Yay! And then something whacked the station real hard, and it cut off their oxygen as well as their communications. So they are alone, and they are stuck. So that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm kind of taking a bit of a peek around to see what is going on. Oh. More AR data. Evie played guitar. Keeps telling me to cr crouch down, but I don't know why. <laughs> is that all there is? Oh. Is that all there is? <laughs> this if is so cute. Is, my friends, then let's keep dancing. Let's break out the booze and have a ball. If that's all. <laughs> you can turn on poop music. That's fantastic. I'm over here getting distracted by a random toilet. Oh. Whoa. I wonder who Nikki is. Even on space, you're still stuck with a litter box with litter all over the place. I love it. Oh, book! Ah, uh, the code. 1228. I mean, we already figured that out, but still. Cool. Evie seems nice. I like Evie. Okay. Well. Oop. Well, we've already kind of finished up over here, so I suppose that's really all there is for this area. So let's go ahead and head back. Because I know we were waiting on... Um... Oh, it's only at 50%. Okay. Let's keep exploring then. Sweet. Oh. Oh. <laughs> For security reasons, AR crew record data is deleted off automatically. Accidental data retention by the automated system does not confer contractor access privileges to this confidential information. Your cooperation is appreciated. AKA quit snooping around. AKA heck your face, I'm gonna snoop around. Oh, I guess everybody has... Oh. Cute. Okay. Mailboxes, I guess. Uh, offices, personal quarters, fitness center. Oh. Please? All right, ladies. You have everything you need? Yep, oh. Thanks for off. Okay, let's see here. Box sealed, obviously. This is a whole new room. We'll go ahead and jack some data. Oh, an audio call? Can I can I play it? No, I can't. Failed. 
failed. Oh, here we go. Aww. Hey, Mark, this is the article I was talking about last time we were discussing finances. Give it a look. Sorry to be a downer. Love you. <laughs> Myth. Real currency is more stable than consumer loyalty. Reality. This may have been true in the earliest years of OCEP's official recognition of the loyalty economy, but think of it like diversifying your financial portfolio, except converted, converted loyalty is just as va valuable as original loyalty. While there are many companies out there, some more reputable than others, that will offer to convert your loyalty between parent companies, think of loyalty as working on the same compound interest system as a retirement plan or 401 account. Ask your grandparents. <laughs> when you draw out your loyalty from your original parent company and transfer it, you lose all those years and decades. It's never worth it. Interesting. Clearly, there is a there's a system here. Loyalty? Are they bargaining with people's loyalty to their companies now? Strange. Well, that's a weird piece of data to get back. No, that's what the Human Oversight Accord means. If an orb orbital facility is run by AI, AI, HOA requires there be an AI specialist on board. If And if there's one human on board, there need to be at least two other people for a three-team hitch. Ah, the coveted Nat support roles. I knew it. <laughs> Nat. And for postings of a year or more, you need six. Sanity, wellness, admin, you name it. Also, it guarantees a whole lot of people union jobs they wouldn't otherwise have. What if I told you I'd feel a lot more sane with a couple fewer people around? You and me both, kid. Okay. So Nat and Evie are kind of iffy about all of the people on board. Good to know, good to know. Can I... Okay. exercise when I'm dead. That's a mood. So Clive's locker has a... That's interesting. They gave each one of them... Oh, wow. Deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with... Through this, I learned that people... Through this, I learned... Zero, three, not always... one, five. Okay. Zero... Three, one, five. Bam. What they believe they want. Yeah. I believe I have learned a great deal. Really? Like what? Very early in my source's cognitive record, I recall an intense period of personal growth. I was tasked with internalizing the behavioral idiosyncrasies of an individual to which my operator was emotionally attached. Huh. I expanded my capabilities to faithfully recreate her procedural reasoning, vocal attributes, and other qualities. After months hmm. of effort, I gave my operator precisely what was asked of me. A perfect emulation of the target personality. Accurate in every detail. Wow. wow. To my befuddlement, he did not react in a positive way. Our relationship began to deteriorate irreparably. We never again spoke personally in the manner I had become accustomed to. Man, your stories aren't usually such We're not downers. all gonna get cancer or bone yeah, disease Is everything or... okay? I suppose I am preoccupied with your potential departure. Wait. Okay, you mean on. me? <clears throat> or... Hey, Sarah, can I, uh, I bother you for a second? What? Oh, um... Sorry. W what is it? I have my son, Nicholas, on AR, and he wanted to ask you... What? 
No, you said you wanted... Well, I didn't... Okay, I'm sorry, hold on. Now, Nicholas... Nicholas? Oh, well then, okay. So Sarah seems to have a really close um, relationship with Odin. Odin seems nice. I like Odin so far. <laughs> I'm glad Odin remembered. Let's see. Okay, so this is from Nat. Lots, lots of people, hackers, hippies, AI rights folks. Yeah, I mean, being yours is cool. Scramble, scramble. Okay, well, I've got a friend there, and you like him. He, and he has a zero-G bonsai garden. Excuse me? I want one of those. That sounds pretty cool. What's his name? Cluey Dog. I mean, okay, his real name is Hassan, but maybe if your contract doesn't get renewed, visit on the way home. I'll think about it. Hello. <laughs> Trying to get the hookup. Whoop, whoop. Let's see. Oh, this is like a whole no novel. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm I'm not reading all that, but that's cool. Oh, Hassan. Oh, that's the guy with the dog. Okay. All right. Teens, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Almost done with high school. Almost. Um, just incidentally, is there anything we should be worried about with another year out here health-wise? Radiation, bone density... Oh no. We spend almost all of our time in Earth gravity, and radiation shielding on a station like this is basically 100%. Yeah, see? That's what I told him. Okay. Thanks, Sarah. Nothing to worry about. Okay, Odin. Where were we? Okay, so Odin was sad that Odin's friends are all leaving. Oh, that's cute. That's super cute. <laughs> I love that a lot. Okay. So the indicators play onto who is... So I need to find... Um... Nat? I think that's Nat. No, Nat is not years. I'm super bad with remembering names. Um, I need to find... Oh... Clive! Clive, Clive, Clive. We're looking for Clive. Oh. Is Clive in room? Clive's in room! Oh, that's what I needed. Okay, cool. Okay. Hi, Clive! Talking with Jermaine again, I see. Let's see. Okay. February 29th, February 29th, 2020 was scheduled to be the final day that commercial and industrial orbital facilities would be operated by human crew members. Um, the historic human oversight accord, putting a halt to the obsolescence of these brave workers in the face of uh, advancing automation. It is your legal right to celebrate this momentous occasion on the last day of February of each year, no matter what your employer claims. Report any attempts at worker suppression to your... Um, Union, uh, local representative. Okay. So, I guess they were going to make it so humans weren't going to be running the stations and it was going to be AI, but they were like, nah, dog. Nah, <laughs> dog. We're giving people their jobs, so, okay. Banter, a guide for the inspired social climber. There's no need for for the works place to be a hum as to be humorless as a morgue undertaker's aside make levity a part of your workday shared references find out what movies and programs are tickling funny bones around the office and that's how fast friends are made <laughs> to keep things casual and endear yourself to the higher ups refer to them by amusing and informal phrases instead of boss memorable bond mots like fearless leader or skipper or head honcho <laughs> Oh, that's... As you wish, Mon Captain. Oh my gosh, I hate this. I'm I'm just gonna close that down. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet. And... Oh, let me rewind this. Hello. Oh, well, that's what I expected. Yeah, we haven't heard who's staying on yet, and you know, it can be a tense time, as you know. But how are things at Carnival? I trust you got back to terra firma safely. 
No. Hmm. You're already headed back out towards Jupiter. Why, I, I thought Jupiter? That... Oh, yes. Come on in, love. So are you rounding Sol, then? That's tremendous. Eight months. <clears throat> uh, Germ, I, I must leave now. Yeah, ring me again before the resplendence leaves Earth space, won't you? Ta-ta. Sorry about that. An old friend from my carnival days. Consorted with the enemy? <laughs> <laughs> Worry not, Mon Capitan. I am nothing if not discreet. Uh-huh. Are you gonna miss me, Clive? If VT kicks one of us off of this pinwheel. Miss you? How could I? The next thing VT would receive after ending your contract would be my letter of resignation. Oh, so you think Aww. I'm the one who's getting shit canned? I mean, considering how indispensable <laughs> I am, naturally. <laughs> wow, Clive. On my way. <clears throat> May I? Yeah, come on. <laughs> That'd be nice for a change. What is it? Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh, but my God. <laughs> Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't have access to Odin? No. There's a whole part of the networking module I can't even get into. People, people, everything on this station is VT's property. We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly we do and don't have access to. It's in oh all of our paperwork. So if you want to quit, then just quit. But don't make me your go-between. I mean, it is fair. How is she meant to do her job? Clive. Then again, rules are rules. Nat, <laughs> I'll think about it. But for now, how about you just get the rest of this job done while you still have it? Ooh. Aye, aye, Captain. Fight, fight, fight. So, the corpse not letting her into the networking stuff. I wonder why not? I mean, that's kind of her job. That seems strange to not let her have that. Hmm. Okay, let's start here. Yeah, no problem. All right, Roberta. Ah, thank you. Give me the juice. Okay, Roberta, let's see what you got. Therapy. Okay. Okay. Well, Penny seems okay. Oh, so Nat feel or er, so Roberta feels like she's holding Nat back because of the um, because of the job. Aw. Message with Clive. Yearly inventory and quality at a certain scout day. Already on it. Trying to get it all done before Obso Day party tomorrow so I can party with a clear conscience. Understandable. Tomorrow's celebration will require your full attention. Do you think Evie would mind if I blah 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 blah? No problem. Two heads are better than one. Neat. Oh, and that's just the inventory log. Okay. And failed. Okay. We don't even know if we're getting renewed yet. We're getting All right, renewed. let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah, they're so getting we're renewed. So sure, maybe we should just do our jobs then. So we'll get renewed again next year. Oh, next <laughs> year. Nah, I'm going to quit. Stop. What? They don't even give me access to the system I'm supposed to be maintaining. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh, well, do you really need direct access to Odin? It's the principle of the thing. I mean, what if they were like, hey, Bert, your job's a mechanical engineer, but, you know, don't touch anything under the hood. Well... Still be pulling a paycheck, for one thing. Come Fair. On. You're a good engineer. You're totally gonna waste up here. Well, didn't you say Evie was gonna talk to corporate about giving you more access? Yeah, but it never went anywhere. Hey. Oh, that's a good point, actually. What? Evie, can you get back to cargo? On our way. What are you doing? Yeah. Yeah, this will work. Oh, interesting. What? Oh, and then... Hey, remember when we talked about how I needed access to Odin's direct interface? <laughs> uh huh. Ah, uh, so how about this? Tell VT if they don't grant access to Odin, they're gonna have to find themselves a new network specialist. Oh my God, Nat, you're not even renewed yet. You don't. Have Ooh. Access. No, there's a whole part of the network. Nat, I can't even get into. Get it? Okay. Everything on this station. And this was four days ago. 
We're subcontractors. They get to decide what exactly okay. we do and don't have access. Well, I think that's pretty much the gist of it, is going what ends up happening with these guys. So, because these, these two were talking about his son, and she was having a really nice conversation with um, Odin. Wow, okay. Wild. Absolutely wild. I wonder if we could find Clive's info. I'm gonna go s Let's go see. And I'm over here just snooping the frick around. Gosh. Okay. Um. All right, Clive, give me the juice. Aha. Oh. Uh. Here we go. Um. Oh, fourteen oh seven. Fourteen oh seven. So what was that? We have received your inquiries about your application for the position in the Venteris, uh, Venteris Belt Timeshare Sales Coordinator as noted with the prior messages. Your materials are under review and will be consideration along with all our applicants. We will be in contact. Ooh, so he was trying to get a new job. But wasn't he just talking about staying here with EV? Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. Gonna keep that little nugget on the side there. Okay. Um, let's go snoop in his locker. <laughs> I feel bad being so snoopy, but at this point, I feel like that's kind of part of the thing. Okay, so, um, what was that again? 1407. Okay. Let's go. 1407. 1407. 1407. 1407. Oh, did he used to... Oh, there's a key. I wonder what this key's to. Was there anything interesting in... You have a key. I wonder what it's to. Let's head back to Clive's room, I guess? And see if I can unlock something? Or wait, I can look at it. Bunk drawer? Bunk drawer? Where's his bunk? Well, if this is his office, then... Does he have a... Personal quarters. No, Germ, look, I just... I don't know... I don't know why, uh, all right? I mean, you, you know how I've always been. It's never real in my mind. <laughs> why would she give a damn about me? Of all the people... Shit. Oh, bollocks. No, I'm just... <laughs> I'm spilling scotch all over out of space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Let's see. True, here while I'll be uh, I'll be out of touch for the next eight months or so. Oh, he's going out for eight months to go do an excursion to Jupiter. Oh wow. <laughs> Sounds nice, but wouldn't that be a lot of work? Not in the least, my dear. All good Britons are trained in presenting proper high tea. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, cute. Um, okay, so... I thought there was a bunk. There's a, there's a... There's something I can unlock here. I just have to... Ah! Oh, 
Let's see here. Bracelet? What's the card say? Darling, I found these on shore leave in a quaint Brighton Mark install. Thought they brought to mind the color of the chest. Aww. Aww. Clive. You're cute. Oh, look at these little bracelets. Oh, they're cute. Aww. What's this? No, just tissues. <laughs> Okay, so... Aw, <laughs> Clive. Clive being cute, okay. Okay, so Clive was trying really hard to get back into the carnival thing so he could go hang out with Germ, but... <laughs> I guess he got kicked out. Okay. What about this one? Wow, so he's trying to get off this boat something hard. He is looking for anything. Wow. I guess he doesn't like the work here. Okay. All right, Clive, I see you. Well, I think that... Pretty much covers this area, but yeah, so Clive's trying to get off the boat. Evie's dealing with these two. Roberta feels bad because Nat's real cool. Oh, wow. Oof. The drama. Oh, my gosh. And then they had to deal with the catastrophic failure of their um, thingy. All right, first part of the AI net is fully transferred. Our techs are looking at it remotely and it's intact. All right, the AR data you're encountering is coming through to us as well. It'll leave a recovery signature, but that's okay. Oh, okay, I mean, if I'm not gonna get in trouble for it, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's still so cool. Hello! Okay. So, they want me to hurry. I mean, that's fine. Well, so far, it seems like they've been here for over a year together, and they seem like they're, um, pretty okay. I mean, they seem to be professionally working well enough, but... 